an inventor! What do you mean? Well, this lady inventor's just moved into town, and guess what? We're going over to have a look. It's so exciting! <gasps> Come on, let's go see! Uh, okay. In here? Perhaps he's inside inventing. Follow me, but quietly. I can't see anyone! No one's home. Hello there. Is anybody in there? Let's have a look around. Hey! Ah. Come and see what I found! Look there! Ah. It's a royal carriage! Looks more like a circus wagon to me. What's this? Ah! It's a drum! They're all musical instruments! Hey, what's this? Ah. Ah. <laughs> Children, there is no escape. Prepare to die. of Max. He won't hurt you, you see? Look, nothing to be frightened of. Huh? Look, everyone, he's not real. Huh? It's a machine? Oh, no. Oh, yeah. And I invented him myself. Oh. <gasps> I tell you, there is a woman called Chris who moved into town last week, and they say she has a mechanical soldier in her house. He's huge, but can move very fast. It chases away intruders while swinging a battle axe around its head like this. See? It must be incredible. I'd love to go and see it, you know? Yes. Mm -hmm. I'd like to see it as well. Oh, Commander Raymond, sir! Sergeant, is this story of yours true? Well, Commander, the local children have told me they've seen it, but I am not so sure if it is true or not. Hmm. If it really exists, I'd like to see this doll for myself. See what you can find out, Lieutenant. I will, sir. Wow, unbelievable. It moves by clockwork. It's just incredible. See, I told you it was great. But Chris is a little bit strange, you know. She keeps on saying that Max is her son. I think she's a bit confused somehow, you know? Oh, well, you know, some people. Come on, everyone. I have some cookies for you. Here, help yourselves, Law Leader, and you, Diego. Thank you. Uh-oh, look who's coming. What does he want? Hello, Miss Law Leader. So nice to see you again. Are you here to see the mechanical doll as well? Hmm. Ah, is this it? Uh -huh. <laughs> Come back here! How dare you run over an army officer? Come back! <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny, huh? Lieutenant, it's only a doll. You were laughing! Yeah! And you! You laughed at me too! No, I didn't mean to. What do you want around here, huh? 
Are you the owner of that crazy machine? That's right. I made Max myself. So what of it, huh? Well, Commander Raymond wishes to see you in your invention immediately. And that's an order. No thanks. No thanks? You will obey me or suffer the consequences. Ah, uh, lady! It would be best if you would obey him. I will not. I'll have nothing to do with the army. Huh? huh? Get out of my house now. Go, Max. Chase them away. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sergeant Gonzalez, arrest that woman! Get her! Yes, sir, immediately! Stop it! Do something, Diego! I don't see what I can do. Sergeant, can't we settle this matter peacefully? I don't see how. Hey, Chris! You better stop, Max, now. You're only making matters worse, you know. I won't! Oh! Yeah! Assaulting an officer. Damned woman, I'll see you hang for this. You see if I don't. Touch me and you'll be hanged yourself. Do you understand, Lieutenant? What? The king? It can't be. Yes, the king of Spain gave this to me personally. Uh -huh. Huh? Where did you get this? My husband received this honor from the king of Spain himself for services to the crown. Our family has been awarded this title. If you don't believe me, you can go back and check with your superiors. In the meantime, I would appreciate a little more respect, Lieutenant. <laughs> the Lieutenant was very angry. I'm worried. You may have gone too far. Who cares? The army are responsible for the death of my only son. What happened to him? My son met with an accident during his army training. Max could hardly swim at all, but they still forced him to swim in the rough seas. Max, you mean that that doll is really... Mm-hmm. I made him because I miss my son. That's why he's called Max. Now, enough of this gloomy talk. I think I'll go into the kitchen and bake some more cookies. Come on, children, to the kitchen! Yeah! Hmm. Did her husband really receive such a high honor from the King of Spain, Commander? I find it hard to believe, sir. Yes, and that could prove troublesome to us, Lieutenant. Best leave her alone. Yes, but, sir, she has insulted the army, refused to obey orders. That's all. Go. As you say. Let's see. I want five bars of soap. Um, Diego! Hi! We don't see you out shopping very often. Maria asked me to pick her up a few things, but I, I can't read her handwriting. So where are you going then? Anywhere exciting? We're all going to Chris's house. You treat her house like it was some kind of amusement park. Are you going too? Of course. I hear she's built another invention. Yeah, and it's called a submarine. A submarine? It's a ship that goes underwater. Underwater? Come on, Diego! Yeah, ah! come with us! But I have shopping to do. Never mind! I'm sure Maria won't be expecting you to come straight home, will she, Diego? Um... Can this ship of hers really travel underwater, huh? Chris says the original idea comes from the artist Leonardo da Vinci. Hmm... That's right. I have built my submarine based on the original designs of the great genius Leonardo da Vinci himself. And here it is. Wow! Wow! Yay! It looks brilliant! But once it goes under, will it come up again? Of course. My design is absolutely perfect. It must be so romantic under the ocean. All those beautiful fish. I wish I could go and see them. There are coming Wanna come? Oh, yes, please. Not me. Ah, that's why I asked you here today. I'm going to take the submarine down to the sea for a maiden voyage tomorrow, and you're all invited. Are you really going to let us on? You mean it? Mm-hmm. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs>
Chris, are you sure it will be okay? Are you frightened of the water, Diego? It's not that. But Chris's son was drowned at sea, so... I know. But that's the reason I built the submarine. I need to know more about the ocean that took my son from me. I think that I will feel closer to him beneath the waves. Now, children, I have some more jobs to do on the submarine. Is anybody willing to help me? Yeah! Tell us what to do! Work, huh? I don't really fancy that. Don't you want to come aboard tomorrow? There's no room for idle hands, you know. So come on, let's get working! Come on, Diego, you want to come along, don't you? Oh, dear. Ready to go! It's all finished. I'm glad. Thank you for all your help, everyone. Now she's ready to launch. I want you all here bright and early tomorrow morning, then we're off to sea. Hooray! <laughs> See you tomorrow, everyone! Bye! Bye. Forgot to bring the shopping home? Oh, yeah, it's still at Chris's house. At Chris's house? You go out early and come back at sunset without my shopping? What have you been up to, Diego? Oh, uh, well, Maria, you see... Don't explain, Diego. Just go and get it. But there's nothing that would go rotten. I'll go and get it tomorrow. Go now! Uh -huh. mm, yes, now. Oh, okay. I'll go and get it after supper. Has Chris gone to bed already? I wouldn't want to wake her up. Huh? Chris, are you there? Hello? That's strange, I thought I heard something. Oh, uh, what do we do, Lieutenant, huh? Don't call me Lieutenant here, you fool. Uh, I'm very sorry, sir. We'll have to get rid of him. Come on, faster, we don't have much time. Yes, sir. Yeah! Put him in here. That should keep him quiet for a while. Have you? I couldn't find him. You couldn't? He could be hiding. He looked like he didn't want to go on the submarine yesterday. That's right. He's scared stiff, you know. But I'm not afraid. Oh, Diego. What's happened? Diego's hiding. He's afraid to go on your submarine. Oh, dear. I told him there was nothing to be afraid of. Well, everyone calls him Diego the Chicken. And he's really lazy. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Well, I never. We'll have to go without him. Ready? Yeah. yeah. Let's go, Bernard. Bernard! Lolita! Bernard! I'm tied up in the barn! Bernard, help me! Yeah! <laughs> no! I'm too late! What are you going to do at the beach today, Lieutenant? Feel that breeze. It's such a fine day. We might even find something interesting. Interesting, huh? Oh. Hmm. What's that? A boat? <laughs> the fool. She'll regret humiliating me. What? I was just thinking out loud, Sergeant. Of course he is. Huh? I couldn't leave him behind now, could I? It's a funny boat. I think it's going to sink. Huh? It's supposed to. But... Okay, off we go. Did she say it's supposed to sink? 
And I still think it's a funny ball. Bye then. No! Stop! Ah! Stop that boat! Miss Lolita, stop, I say! Listen, Gabriel's shouting something! What's he saying? Oh, ignore him. He's only here to cause us trouble again. Such a horrible man. Let's all get below. It's time to try her out. Come Bring along now. Back here. Do you hear me? I want that boat bringing back here. What's the matter, Lieutenant? I said bring that boat back. Fetch it to me here now. Uh -huh. Oh, the boat. Huh? The boat is sinking. It's wonderful. So many fish. Another world, huh? It's so peaceful, so quiet. You could stay here forever, couldn't you? Did anyone see any mermaids? Ah, oh, Max. Down here, I feel so close to you, my son. Silly me. I shouldn't be so sentimental. I think it's time to surface. What? Not already. We'll run out of air if we stay below too long, young man. You don't want to suffocate, do you? Oh, no, it's not moving. It's stuck. Huh? <gasps> uh, 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 oh, oh, we're going to drown. Oh. Don't worry, I'll get you out of here. I'll open the emergency exit and we can all swim for it. But well, we're right at the bottom. It's not so deep here. We'll be fine, you'll see. Jump in one by one and swim to the surface. Come on, who's first? I'll help you, Nikita. Don't worry. Come along. Huh? <gasps> oh, Charles! Oh, Chris. Don't worry. My Max will chase him away. Huh? Help me carry him. <laughs> Just a few adjustments needed. Can Max really do that? Of course he can. He'll send those shocks packing in no time. Another son, huh? Oh. Yeah. Quickly, before the submarine sinks any further. Lolita. She was right behind me. Look out, sharks. No, oh, no, not sharks. <gasps> <gasps> Max! Lieutenant, we have to yes, do something. Yes. Stop rocking the boat. You're safe now, Miss Lolita. Zero! He saved us! Oh, thank you, Zaro. Lieutenant Gabriel? Huh? It was you who sabotaged the submarine, wasn't it? What? 
You put these women and children in danger, Lieutenant Gabriel. You cannot deny it because I saw you do it with my own eyes. That's what you say, and you're a liar! And now it's time for you to pay. <laughs> He's a great man. Yeah. I've made up my mind. I'm gonna make a mechanical Zorro. Water is necessary in any community, but in a farming town, it's vital. When a gang of thugs turn up and threaten a landowner, the river that flows through his property is in danger of disappearing forever. And on one of the rare occasions that the army is fighting on the side of the people, the vicious thugs are sent packing. But the life of our masked hero is in great danger. Will he survive? Find out in the next exciting episode of Sorrow!